This is why Aiden has a new era every two weeks. It's so that he can just take away Aiden. accountability. Aiden wanted to be the token Jew for representation. I'm getting away from that politics era. I'm getting away from motherfuckers like Sneeko. Milo was gay and now he's got to pretend to be Christian for his audience. Sneeko was a cuck and now he's got to pretend to be Muslim for his audience. You enforce in threesomes. That's haram, um, cucko. Um, I, listen, I don't know how you guys feel about trans. Wait, what's this convo about? Let's just copy this for my title. I'm being Speaking, lazy. I don't have Rumble Download on my phone. I have my demographic. I'm asking you guys who has Rumble Download. I don't know what you guys do, and I'm asking you who watches Rumble. I'm, I'm genuinely, I ask that. Who Every Tate Rumble? supporter, probably half the people who watch your stream, if they watch any emergency meeting or if they want to watch Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is blocked off of TikTok, everyone, everyone, banned everyone, on YouTube. Everyone say no. Everyone say no here. Sneeko, I'm not, I just asked a question. But don't you, who okay, Rumble? but don't you see how stupid that is that all of your fan base loves Tate? You just, we started this conversation I talking about Trump. I love Tate too. I love Andrew okay, Tate. Okay, so we started this conversation talking about Trump. Trump is no. exclusively on Rumble. First, Tate first, is exclusively on Rumble. At first, what I tried to do with this conversation was I tried to to talk about Twitch, and then you came after me for kick. But act, this is this is why Aiden has a new era every two weeks. It's so that he can just take away accountability for his act. Bro, you started off this year like, oh, 2020, 23, I'm on my grind, no haram, I'm meditating, I'm spiritual Aiden now, all this yes. stuff. And then you signed to a gambling platform, which is literally haram. It's By the way, gambling platform. I never you drink alcohol. You okay. drink alcohol. How do you know it's in my cup? You enforce in threesomes. That's haram, cucko. Wait, wait, I want to know what you honestly think about the outro. Because for whatever reason, I thought it was going to be awkward. I thought you were jacking Ye24. Yes, only if Ye24 was a part of it. So you see here, he needs to acquire me. Other, I told God, you know, I told this, I told everyone, I told Flint, that's what everyone. And, and listen, Ye24 would only work if they had me on their roster. And that's fact. What? Yes, yes, bro. They, he wouldn't win. He would only become president if I, if I was on the team. Ak, he wanted to they be go. the token Jew. Huh? He wanted, Aiden wanted to be the token Jew for representation. Hey, I'm not on the politics wave anymore, but um, I will say, I love Yo. Donald Trump. My go. Yo, first of all, I'm glad you're off the politics wave. Yo, Aiden, man. First of all, I got a lot to say to you. I got a lot to say to Sneeko, too. Yo, first of all, Aiden, you got to come back down to earth, brother. You got to come back to the people. You get it? You've been trying to be like uh, Tate for a little bit. Brother, oh, my God. I Damn, I already, that's the thing. I, I've already, I, I'm, this is the resurrected area. It just started yesterday. So watch it a month. You're about to see a whole new Aiden. It's already, it's already in the books. Yo, why is it, there's a new Aiden every other week. Yo, yo, have you seen a video on him? There's a video. Yo, oh what? my God, this dick up. The Patrick CC? I was about to watch that. Watched it's it. a good video. It's a great video. Yo, Aiden, you're my dude. And I watched it and I literally said, Yo, this is kind of right. My dude keep trying to reinvent himself. What's up with the reinvention, dog? Be it's yourself. Good. Nah, nah. I was never. I was always being myself. What are you talking about? Bro, I'm me. Now, now, now and, I, and I'm and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go back to me. I'm gonna go back to a I'm gonna go back to why people started falling in love with me. And that's what I'm gonna go back to doing. I'm getting away from that politics era. I'm getting away from motherfuckers like Sneeko, okay? And I'm going back to. Ooh. I'm going back to a minute. Yo, Sneeko, guys, worth the fucking fight. This dude's asking. Random fucking influencers. Yo, bro, what are your thoughts on Mr. Beast's friend? Like, why are you like, people are just trying to watch a fight, bro. Like, and you're like asking motherfuckers, what are your thoughts on the fucking, on Chris? It's crazy. It's current. I can't have a conversation with somebody. Like, even if I ask, even if I say how many genders are there, if I ask somebody if, if there's only two genders, fair that's enough. apparently political. It shouldn't be fair political enough. that there's fair only enough. two genders. Fair enough. Fair enough. I know. I know that's the world we live in today. Fair enough. But Sneeko, I just, hold on. Hold on. Sneeko, the first thing you're like, hi, I'm Sneeko. The other person's like, hi, my name is blah, blah. You're like, what is your opinion? Like, it's the first thing you say to him. It's insane. I like conversations. L. Aiden. Chat are not liking this. Whose chat is this? Is it Sneeko's chat? I like being able to uh, to go back and forth about something. What do you want me to be like? Oh, nice fight. Good kicks going on. <laughs> hey, yo, Ak, apparently your, your screen is black. Your screen's black. Uh, Chris is texting. While we're listening to three retards barking at each other, um, there isn't much going on. It's a bit, uh, it's a little bit quiet out there in the drama arena. So I'm just uh, finding stuff I can just watch because my voice is just getting worse and worse. Well, I feel like it's getting better, but then it gets worse. I don't know what's going on with it. Text to me in my chat saying that your, your screen fucked up, man. Yeah, I'm an idiot, bro. Hold on, I got it. Man. <laughs> I got it. Did you, did you, when you met, when you met Trump, were you, were you fanboying a little bit? I was. 
Were you? I was fanboy OD. Sneeko okay. Update just, just posted a picture. You know, you know what a lot of the people like to say, and especially like arguments from, from Destiny? Uh, they like to say that I'm just embracing the red pill for clout and for, for money. But I went to Trump rallies dolo in 2015 and 2016. I went alone. Damn. I voted, Yo, I voted, on, that's the only president I voted for was Trump in 2016. Yo, you were just rocking Yay 24 merch. You can't just <laughs> jump. You got to like, you got to follow. Everybody on Yay 24, Yay took pictures with Trump. Everybody on Yo. Yay 24 were all like former Trump supporters. Everybody that Yo. was there. By the way, Sneeko not going to say this, but he was waiting in line to take pictures with Trump and Secret Service was grilling the fuck him. Be honest. Did you think they recognize you? Be honest. Secret Service? No, I don't think so. <laughs> like in the team, it'll be like, yo, don't take a picture with him. Like, he's not one of those. I don't think so. I don't think they knew who I was. And also, y you filmed it and put it on your story, so it's not like it's something I need to hide. <laughs> Come on. Regardless, bro, no matter the political affiliation, I would always take it. It's Trump. Even politics aside, how could you not take a picture with Trump? Yeah. How could... Nah, real shit. How could you not take a picture picture with Trump? Yo, like wait. all all the Democrats, would y'all take a picture with Trump? I'm genuinely curious. If you you think the Democrats take a picture with Trump, they see him? Come on, I think they are. Yo, 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 Aiden. So I was on a call right right before I even. That's why I was late to even the stream. People in hip hop, they're like, yo, act. You went all right. You took a picture with Trump. I'm like, yo, it's the former president of the United States. By the way, I'm not opposed to him because by the way, I think Biden has been like. Let's not even get. Into, I don't even want to get into politics. But like everyone thought that picture was like some crazy shit. Like, I didn't think that my community would give a fuck at all. Did I, they? What? Bro, they've been writing that. Yo, they've been writing articles and saying oh. that, saying that all the hip hop outlets have been infiltrated by all right. I couldn't believe it, bro. I swear I couldn't believe it, bro. So first of all, academics, why do you have nine monitors? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> no, wait, I'm genuinely curious. That I mean, is why? wild, bro. Who are you spying on, man? Dude, you're like a fucking hacker. Shit, I try, man. I, hey, hey, hey. I need two for CSGO. I need two for Uber Eats. I mean, listen, I think it's pretty obvious that, like, yeah, of course you take a picture with Trump. I mean, it's Donald Trump, for fuck's sake. You'd have to be a real fucking cringe, like, resist lib type to not want to do that. But a good, a good alternative would be, well, would you take a picture of Hillary Clinton? I need two for stream. You know what I mean? We're kicking it over here. Yo, Aiden, wait, how'd you get tickets? I know how I got to. How did you get tickets to that whole shit? That's, I know, that's true. Y'all got tickets to Rumble. I know. I know no. you did. Okay. That's why I got back at first. I was like, ask getting close to the Rumble guys. And then you signed. I'm like, good for you. How come you didn't tell me when I when we were talking? You never, you didn't tell me. It was secret. <laughs> Yeah, because I couldn't ruin the surprise, and also, like, like, yo, that's one of the brands. We can't even talk about it. <laughs> um, I got tickets because uh, Dana, Dana hooked me up. Yo, why, why do you think that nobody's covering academics joining Rumble? Besides Hippies is saying that he's all right. Jadion joins Rumble. They're all silent. But all the fucking blogs, even though, Aiden, you criticize a lot of them for saying that you're a bad person, like Dick Zerto and Jake, whatever the fuck, they will cover kick, 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 kick all yeah, goddamn day man. long. But Wait, then we get, we get Jadion. We get academics silent. Nobody's talking about Rumble getting these big ass signings. Ray's just going to be like, I'm not going to Rumble. Ain't nobody talking about it. You see the actual. Okay, there's not an agenda. Dexerto is like an esports affiliated, um, you know, industry press that often covers Twitch news. And Kick is seen as like an alternative to Twitch, so that's why they're reporting on that. Um, I mean, I, I've not checked. I don't know what the reality is, but I don't think that Dexerto have got an obligation to report on signings at Rumble. I think that they report on Kick stuff because Kick is being reported as the big alternative to Twitch that a lot of people are talking about in the space. But so is Rumble. Not in the same way as Kick is, no, not at all. Not in the same way as Kick is, no. Kick is like, whole thing is taking Twitch streamers over from Twitch to Kick. And Rumble isn't pushing that angle as much. Rumble, although it's trying to get away from it, historically has been, if you're a banned YouTuber, you can come across and come over to Rumble. Agenda, this is a free speech platform and everybody's quiet because they don't like free speech. They don't like conservative. Hey, hey this is a free speech platform too. The no, fuck? No, not not oh, until hey. the Amazon services shut you down for saying something that you shouldn't say. 
Yo, 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 by the way, by the way, you see, you get a motherfucker like Sneeko on here, and Sneeko is just so up, like, an alley that it makes me seem like I'm political. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. All I want to say, because I like I like to talk about creators, and you know, when I talk to you, Aiden, we talk about creators. Always. Let me tell you this. I think we're in a really unique space where creators are not only beholden to the normal platforms that we're used to, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, even, even TikTok. I think there's new platforms emerging, and I think, I've been trying to send this message for the longest. I think every creator should realize, don't be a slave to any platform. Use every platform. You should, like, listen, not because I'm here means it's fuck YouTube or fuck any other platform. But we have to start reaching out to these other platforms. And I look at you yeah. and I look at you like, hi. And you know, we've had this conversation. I'm like, yo, bro, every streamer who has influence, I was so shocked when you made that move, right? Because, you know, I think creators like you latch on to that, yo, I'm hot in this moment. And rarely do you see people walk away. It's usually the Sneekos that said, well, since you kicked me to the curve, no disrespect, Sneeko, you kicked me to the curve, I got to go do this. But you were in a position where you had the youth in your hand and you're like, yo, this is a good business move. And I know a lot of people have been getting at you for whatever reason, but I do think you're exercising your right as a creator to do some good shit. He's talking shit out of his breath. I'm not, talk I'm not talking shit. I want to say one thing. You're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. Um, and... You know, what I want to say is, you brought a good point up to me uh, at the UFC fight. You told me, um, it's like a free agency for these streamers, bro. These streamers are going to start to get paid. Yo, at, did you see Saudi Arabia is investing billions of dollars into esports and e-gaming and shit? Of course. Billions, not millions, billions of dollars. Who saw that chat? Y'all saw that shit? What I'm trying to say is, it's just to be- What's that about? Are you serious? Bonus article. Well, the headline's sufficient. Amazon owns you. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Beginning for this shit. And you told me within this next five years, it's going to get interesting because now Kick is a competitor to Twitch. This shit has only been a, this shit was, has only been a concept for a few months. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, we're going to see so much shit and so Rumble. much. And Rumble's more YouTube, right? Isn't it? Isn't, isn't that Sneeko? Am I wrong? Is well, we know they won't be making a flight simulator game because they won't know how to code the whole landing a plane bit. Curious. What, uh, what's that in reference to? Rumble is Twitch and YouTube. We, we got Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Like, Kick is cool, whatever, bro, hosted on Amazon services. But you can't really upload videos like that. We got both at the same time. And we got free speech. And we got our own cloud service. We're not owned by Amazon. Amazon also owns Twitch, so it's pretty much the same exact well, platform. Well, fair enough. I'm going I'm to I'm get a word in. I'm going to get a word in. Okay. Uh, Sneeko, Kick gets posted on all the blogs. All right. Rumble gets posted nowhere. Yeah, I mean, Matrix I, platform. Yeah. Matrix yeah. platform. Rumble's. And if, if, we're, if, we're really gonna, if we're really going to give credit about like influencers who started this like alternative platform shit, who really did it before me? Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to tell you a major, a major concern of Kick of mine. I. I don't, I think with Kick... I just don't, it's such a stupid argument to have, like, it should be about what the benefits of the platform are. That's what matters. What are the benefits and upsides of a given platform? I don't know when the feds might kick the door down and say, hey, listen, yo, number one, y'all are straight copy and Twitch. Like, like, <laughs> no, you, no, so no, no, I think y'all even have a just chat section. Yo, it's crazy. Y'all are straight copy and Twitch. Second of all, this whole shit is funded by gambling. There's really like yes, you're not wrong. Let me explain. I'm gonna explain because I'm Haram. not. Wrong. I'm. I'm. I'm creator. Sneeko, don't Sneeko, Sneeko. You bet. My, listen, Sneeko. Fuck that shit. You drank. That was Haram, and you also gambled. We I didn't gamble bet that night. I, I didn't so gamble shit. We we did bet, Sneeko. Do we I bet, bet money? That fight. We did bet. We, we bet. bro. We did not bet. Don't Sneeko. don't lie on Just my name. Sneeko. Don't be ironic. I want to say one thing. Way. I want to say one thing about kick. Here's the thing. Classic snaky tactics, man. When when this shit when this shit is monetizable with through advertisements and shit, uh -huh. it's gonna people are gonna
Look at the chat. LG, lol, you calling you out right now. Really understand academics. What Kick is doing for small. Nah, Sneeko is not a proper Muslim though. He's. It's all a fucking. It's just. It's like. It's like Milo pretending to be Christian. It's the same thing. Milo was gay and now he's got to pretend to be Christian for his audience. Sneeko was a cuck and now he's got to pretend to be Muslim for his audience. All streamers and mid-sized creators itself. No other platform has done it. Offered a ninety. What is it? A ninety-five-five split. Offering a bunch of a bunch of great services. Yes, there's issues, there's problems. For example, my viewers just went from fucking sixty to ninety thousand in one second. There's there's influ there there's problems with that. There there is honestly problems. There's issues, but it's so brand new. It's in beta. Give this shit some time. I get it. I get what you're saying, but once it's monetizable and it's really legit off advertisements and they sell ads and shit. You're gonna understand. Kick seems like a Papa Dub crypto to me. It seems like something that people are gonna make a gambling bag off now. They're ripping off Twitch. And then as soon as the feds start knocking on your door for this gambling stuff and how it's not regulated in the US, then people are gonna go find another platform to go on. Well look, well look, well look, let me say this. Let me say this. You could say that, cool. But once they sign these big creators, man, and it's it, you know, there's some big there's some I mean that just, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's correct. I don't think that Kick will have any problems in terms of like um because it's not the only the, the only connection is like affiliate links and stuff that streamers are using if they've got a sponsorship. I don't think there's a direct enough link that if there was any problems with a stake, it would be a problem for Kick in that way. Big names about a sign. You know, there's not really, it's not really, it's getting away from that. That won't be gambling. That won't be doing certain shit. You know what I mean? So that's how I see it. I, you know, I see that it's going to be cut in half. It's going to be split uh, up and... Everyone, ever you're gonna be, you're gonna get a little bit of every community on this shit. Okay, but well, and, well, and you also have to think about. So, one thing about Kick that kind of scares me because I've, you know, as a creator, we do know that we essentially have to create content where ads are ran against our content. Kick doesn't have, and honestly, Not I don't. Yet. I mean, you stream porn. Like, you know what I mean? I just think they're close <laughs> to get that. Like, they're you know not. what I mean? Like, so look, so look, can I say one thing? Please. Porn is crazy. Do you, do you, do you it was, and you guys both know I, I fucked up, okay? Academics, didn't you say something about you fuck, you know what I'm saying? Academics about the college girls that 17 or I don't know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Shut the fuck up. And brother, Sneeko, brother, brother, and Sneeko yeah. you said, and Sneeko, you said you like cooties or the fucking movies. Don't suck my dick, both of you. I'm not gonna get you so heated here. right now. Why are you so heated? Listen, just let me say what I want to say, please. I'm fucking with both of you, academic. I know what you meant by that. I know what you meant by that. Everyone did. Listen. Two yeah, what is? I've got something in my inbox. DJ Academic was getting exposed by his girl last night. I think his girl got on Discord and exposed AK for beating her to a point she lost a baby. He got herpes and takes meds for it. And his real age is 34 to 35. What the fuck? Oh, it's been taken down. Well, not much I can do about that. Who be fucking won? Do you know what Twitch is back? Do you know where it started 10 years ago named Justin TV? And this shit. <laughs> Don't know what that was. was. And this shit, you. There used to be crazy shit being streamed on Justin TV. Crazy things. Like, honestly, comparable to this, everyone said they, they were reminded, you know what I'm saying, by early uh, Justin TV to kick. But I can't stream porn again. I, if I do that, I'm going to get banned. I, I, you know, I learned my lesson on that shit. Sneeko, stop smiling. I, it was fucked up. It was wrong. I get it, bro. I get it. I don't even watch porn. I haven't, I haven't jerked off since 2020, 22. Bro. Bro, this, is, this is why Aiden has a new era every two weeks. It's so that he can just take away accountability it. for his act. Bro, you started off this year like, oh, 2020, 23, I'm on my grind, no haram, I'm meditating, I'm spiritual Aiden now, all this yes. stuff. And then you signed to a gambling platform, which is literally haram. It's By the way, gambling platform. I never you drink alcohol. You okay. drink alcohol. How do you know what's you, in my cup? Yo, you enforce in threesomes. That's haram, cucko. Listen. Yo, yo Aiden is Aiden, Aiden talking Aiden, crazy Aiden, right now. For a lead addict right now, bro, <laughs> sipping lead, talking. I open you a fucking opioid addict. I, I wish you would just be honest. I wish okay. you would just be honest because we know the truth, right? Um, in, in, in a rare case, like if you know, I'm a smaller creator than you, but you're a huge creator. 
I think whatever bag, and you know, who knows what it is, whatever bag that kit gave you was astronomical compared to any who were, who, like, of what, course. But do you understand? They're offering bags for people that are not going to be gambling. For one, for two, of course, bro. Stake, stake started kicking. Got out there. It's, it's not. It's no information. Of course, they're funding it. But that should show you they have, they have this money to fucking pay these creators who are deserving of their paycheck. The whole thing was this, and, and you guys can agree because you're on Rumble. Twitch underpays the fuck out of creators. Facts or cap? Just answer that. I don't know. I was banned in two days. I have no idea what Twitch is about. Okay, but it's, it, it's a yes or no question. Does Twitch underpay their creators? Yes or no? Well, Not absolutely. if you're a leftist. By the way, by the way, no one really thought. Oh, no, if you're a leftist. Oh yes, if you're a leftist, you get uh, ninety-five percent of your subs actually. This strongly about creator pay until this year because you thought you were supposed to get almost nothing. Let's be honest, right? Academic, so academics. Can, if I told you the number that Twitch makes off of creators like Kai and XQC and etc. And, and then if I told you what they were getting paid, mm -hmm. you would laugh. They are selling advertisements and making a fortune. And they are put and they are pushing, they are pushing these streamers to spam ads and their own communities to get mad at them. And you won't ever hear these these Twitch puppets talk about it, you know, that are signed to these deals, you know, the sons and stuff. You won't ever hear them talk about it because they have they have higher contracts than these other these other streamers. For example, of course it's true. Has a, he's, I think he said has a Twitch deal, 100%. Come on, bro. Sneeko. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Twitch is a, is a far uh, left platform. Twitch is a far left platform, but Kick is not that different than than Switch. Oh, and bro. also, don't you have gambling requirements to be on Kick? Like, isn't that in the contract that you have? Like, I, don't have, oh I, I didn't God. have to. I took it for extra money, and I enjoy gambling. That's what I do. So that's not in the contract for everybody else in there that they have to have required gambling hours. No, no. You're gonna see Destiny. I, he's a streamer. That's gonna be a sponsorship requirement, not a spot, not a requirement of being just on the platform. God, how fucking dumb have you got to be the thing is streaming on kick there's going to be some gambling requirement Mary, he doesn't gamble uh, you're going to see more creators sign that don't gamble no okay so where's the money coming from i just told you it's obviously be bro i told you bro they, they're, they're not monetizing right now they're probably losing money i don't know they're building their platform from the ground up and they're becoming they're gonna be they're gonna be monetizing when they have ads this seems kind of pump and dumpy no, no, no. So how, is Rumble, how is Rumble monetizing? Let me ask you. I'm just curious. Ads. There's ads. Have ads? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So look, how long? How long? How long? How long has Rumble? How, how long has Rumble been up for? Rumble's been out for a couple of years. Okay. There you go. You know how long Kick has been up for? Uh, a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. What I'll definitely say about Rumble that that exactly. made me a little bit encouraged as a creator is that, you know, they increased their revenue. Exactly. Um, like it was my like three times from 2021 to 2022, which means they're in an upward climb. Clearly they have some type of monetization strategy and some way to make income. I always thought with Kick that like, yo, listen, this is obviously to promote steak, but you're also at the, at the, like you're okay. at the risk of, of potentially one day, Kick just gets shut down and- no, They have their own, they have their own contract sign and stuff, bro. They're protected They're And, and here's the thing, that's why you guys are, you can't be so quick. You can't be so quick to judge. You just said Rumble's been out for years. Kick's been out for months. There's a big difference, bro. If In two years, if Kick does not have ads, then there's a problem. Okay, but can you agree that the basis of Kick is gambling? The basis of Rumble has always it, been- it, It's gonna be It's gonna be flattened out once these big creators right, take these checks and don't gamble. Kick was built around gambling. Rumble was- Clean up that last word and we're good, Guru22. Jesus Christ. Because if you're the one that, um... Bro. Hundred viewers. The fucking dregs. The Kuma dregs. <laughs> Look at these chats as well. You've got someone here called... You can't see it because of my camera. You got someone here called Fin Sub, <laughs> and they're saying, "How many gifted tubs do I owe you? Will I be allowed to see your souls?"
Kick was always built, kick was built, funded from Snake. Of course, there you it's, go. It's, you're, base, so, oh, you're not letting me finish. Not, but, but, but Nico, that's that's public information that, that everyone knows. And I'm comparing yeah. it to Rumble. Rumble was based around free speech from the start. It was own services. It's own like nobody oh, just, is can be banned. They allow every they allow oh, free speech. Curious. That's the basis of Rumble. I'm curious though. I'm curious because I've never and, I, and I'm not saying this to hate on and Rumble. I'm not. You know, there was a point in time where I wanted to be on Rumble, you know what I'm saying? And I still am, am exploring that. Who the fuck is on Rumble? Who the fuck watches Rumble? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. A lot of Ooh. people, the entire conservative population in America, all the MAGA people, Trump specifically. Oh, yeah. Actually, hold on, hold on, I got real quick, real quick. Aiden, Aiden, hold up. Aiden, no, you put out a tweet. Wait, 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 wait. I think y'all are doing the wrong thing here. Y'all are trying to make this, first of all, these are two, like, with all due respect, and, and shit, I'm on Rumble now too, but these are two small goldfish competing in a aquarium filled with it's the shark. Here's the funny hold part. On. Wait, wait, hold, the, on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Adam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Like, you guys are talking about kick versus rumble, but in reality, here's the po point. You know, me and you definitely, um, Aiden, we came from, from in a live stream background from Twitch. Yes. And I'm wondering what's the future of Twitch and what should a Twitch creator be thinking about now, now there are competitors. For me, you know, even though I, I'm loyal to YouTube in the sense of making videos, but have I always wondered if there could be a competitor to host videos? I remember looking at Vimeo. I remember looking at other platforms yeah. because when one person has a monopoly over any space, and we're just talking business-wise, this is what I'm saying. Having the kick versus rumble conversation, that's like keeping it on a base level. You can go tip for tap all day long. But in reality, the whole reason why Aiden, I would imagine you left, and also the reason why I said, hey, let me go try another platform is because Twitch, who had the monopoly on streaming, clearly they were lacking a few things. And I'm wondering, what does all these other platforms, what does Sneeko being on Rumble, me being on Rumble, you being on Kick, and Speed being on YouTube, at, at, at least for the moment, what does that do to Twitch's market share? What the fuck is it going on? It breaks up the monopoly. It's only going to be leftists. It's only going to be blue-haired people and hot tub streamers. Twitch is going to be an OnlyFans funnel from now on. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. It's ironic, right? Well, that's not what you said. You also said, who's watching Rumble? Look, everybody in your stream, and you especially... I said, I said that, too. I said that, and here's why I said that. It's bro, because... Are you really... Sneeko, 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 I'm going to double down. I did say that. Personally speaking, I don't have Rumble down on my phone. I have my demographic. I'm asking you guys who has Rumble downloaded. I don't know if you guys do, and I'm asking you who watches Rumble. I'm genuinely I asked that. Who Every Tate Rumble? supporter, probably half the people who watch your stream, if they watch any emergency meeting or if they want to watch Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is blocked off of TikTok, everyone, everyone, banned everyone, on YouTube. Everyone say no. Everyone say no here. Sneeko, I'm not. I just asked a question. But don't you, who okay, Rumble? but the, don't you see how stupid that is? That all of your fan base loves Tate. You just we started this conversation I talking love about Tate too. I love Andrew okay, Tate. so we started this conversation talking about Trump. Trump is no. exclusively on Rumble. First, Tate first, is exclusively on Rumble. At first, what I tried to do with this conversation was I tried. To to talk about Twitch, and then you came after me for kick. So I have to, of course, uh, guard my, my platform. This is my baby. Look, uh, you know okay, but you don't see what I'm saying. We started this conversation talking about Trump and how that experience was. Where is Trump? Where does Trump stream? Do jabs, so I have to jab back. Okay, and so what I'm it's not a jab. Where does Trump? It's a question. Where does Trump stream? Donald, Donald Trump Jr. streams on Rumble. Where does Donald Trump Sr. stream? I don't know. Does he does he stream? He streams all of his rallies, all of his speeches. Rumble. Yes, Hold on. I still think I love Trump still. Yo, I still think y'all are arguing on a tip for tat level. And, and and again, you know, even when I made my move, right? I made that decision based on where I think streaming is going. I think streaming is the most is is the is the most potent type of content that's gonna be happening in the next two to three years. It's a reason why every rapper wants to link with Aiden or Kai. It's a reason why People are in envy of people yeah, like. It's true. There's like, wasn't Ice Spice on uh, Kai Senate stream recently? And she's just done a collaboration with, uh, who is it? Nicki Minaj, whatever her name is. So, yeah, I think that it's true. Make the Stallion. What? I'm talking about this. 
What do you mean? I, I, listen, don't tell me I know more about black music than you. This, I Spice and Nicki Minaj. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Hmm. What's this about? Don't. How is it that I know more about black music? Come on, I'm a racist. Aiden and Kai to say, how do they have thousands of people watching them while they just chill? We have every rapper who's got no Twitch, they're RPing. Who started all that shit? Who made yeah. that shit popular? They're all trying to be likable. However, they're doing it on they're doing it on Twitch at the moment because all they saw was entertainers and creators like us being on Twitch. But now they're not realizing that you know, there's many more other platforms. And also the audience that you and I and Sneeko have created, they will travel. They will go up elsewhere. Go, which is good. Right, 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 right. That's what I'm saying, bro. And honestly, I would love to add on this person, uh, Train, you guys know Train is, because he has a better understanding where Kick was. He was here before me, so, and he's honestly, he's invested in this project as well. But the project is so new, bro. Like I said, give it a, give it a couple of years. You know, Rumble didn't have ads in two months. I know they didn't, it's impossible. There's no way they did. They didn't, there's no way they had ads in two months. The ads they have now, there's no way. You know, you gotta give it some time, bro. You gotta give it some years. You gotta give it some time. And it oh, just- Ed, I wanna ask you this real question. And again, this is, listen, I, I know I'm on Rumble, but I don't look at this as a Rumble versus Kick thing, bro. It's you not. Know, it's not. It's I look not. at this as, listen, we are all streamers. Yo, when we all see each other in the fight, we're all chilling, cracking jokes. We all, our communities all intermingle somewhere or another. What, what this is meaning for all of us is that we as streamers finally get the chance to choose. And right. that's the most important thing. So I, I, ask, I, I ask you in the sense of, do you think Kick, and, and again, this is not a got you nothing. Do you think Kick is at the point of sustainability where a mid-sized streamer, right? Not a, not a superstar like yourself could get on Glazing. and say they're not gambling and they just want to go stream some shit and they yep. could actually... They yes. can actually have an audience that will come to them yep. rather than them bring I'll their an example. I'll give an example right now. Someone named Action Man, okay? Uh, he's a streamer. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him before. He made, I think, what do you do? Wait, but hang on a sec. That's not answer this question. Action Man already had a presence on Twitch. So that's why he's managed to be so successful. He got like fucking thousands of subs. But... That being said, I'm sure there are examples of people who were struggling to make any sort of decent money on Twitch that then switched over to Kick and were able to like make, there's loads of people that are like, oh, look at this. I got a hundred subs on Twitch and made this much on the uh, Kick and made this much money. I can pay my rent this month with this, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I think there is definitely a lot of opportunity on Kick. New chat, he doesn't gamble. What do you make? 50 something thousand dollars the last month? Streaming, is he a streamer though, like yo. Yes, I, he's a mid I, I, I would say I would say he's bigger now that he's gone. He's gone to kick. I really would. Oh, he made forty k in the month. Thank you guys. Forty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, bro. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Hold on, I'm gonna go train? real quick. I'm, I'm gonna try to get trained in here. You got him in here. Like. One thing I'll say to Sneeko, because, you know, I think Sneeko is still in gun ho Like, I don't think this is, you know, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, Twitch has got, like, loads of problems. Um, they just laid off a bunch of staff. The new CEO is not apparently going to bring about much change because um, basically the company was running under him anyway before. Um, the direction they're going is, like, the kind of woke shit, basically. Um they want to get all the like minority people feeling good about being a streamer. That seems to be the direction they're going. Um, stringent enforcement of TOS and stupid rules. Yeah. That seems to be the way Twitch is going with their platform. YouTube has got problems, but it's better from like a moderation perspective, I'd say. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. I don't know. Fuck my, my voice. <laughs> Jesus Christ, help me. Pray, I'm praying. I'm praying for a solution. Here's the beauty of this, right? You see Twitch, right? Like, again, Aiden's my friend. 
Me and Aiden, we talk hip hop, we talk everything. Aiden will call in to give his opinion about whatever, but put it like this, if 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 I'm on Twitch at the moment, I can't talk to Aiden. Yes. Right? I can't okay, talk to Aiden me. because, you know, the platform has banned him or whatever the case is, or I can't talk to Sneeko. I've never talked to Sneeko on stream till, till now. When That's I go to crazy. Miami, when I go to Miami, I talk. I see Sneeko all the time. You know what I mean? And, and obviously, we're trying to abide by these platforms rules, but we're, we're getting to realize that us creators kind of have a little bit more control than we probably thought we did. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've always been. That's the thing. Act, I want to just say, bro. Thank you for fucking saying that, pointing that out. It's true, bro. Because you know, you brought the right idea. I think now it's time for creators to get value for what they do. Um, and you see streamers, the big streamers starting to stream less nowadays. And you see them trying to really kind of like, I guess you could say, kind of like, it's like an off, they're waiting for offers to be sent out. And they're, they're going back and forth probably, I don't know. But you don't see, there's not a lot of streaming shit going on right now, except for like, like I just think, I just think we're, it's like a literal free agency type shit. Like people should really be getting paid for what they, what they should be with their work. Yo, if, to a lot of people who are in my community, who might just not know what streaming really is, they look at it like, what are you talking about? But it's like, we're talking about streamers who are more lit than rappers. Streamers who could command an audience that a rapper or a label wish they could actually interact with without paying. Right. If you think those people aren't valuable enough or shouldn't think about their future on a business level, granted, some of these people are kids. Some of these, yeah. when I mean my kids, like, Bro, if you're 21 and you have 80,000 people watching you, like, you're not even gonna think about the business ramifications of what that means, but there is. And, you know, I've been in this shit for a while, so I know that, but that's why no matter where um, Aiden would go, Kai, Bruce, your rage, shit, even if, even if Hassan, which I, I don't seem like he would probably go anywhere, it all matters, and shit, you, Sneeko, like, it's the reason why you still exist, because you do know they hit you for the juggler when they got you off, off YouTube. They did that to Tate, too. Yeah. So I look at these things, and I'm like, yo, yo, if we don't realize that this is a golden time and golden era in, every, in, in streaming history, it's not going to continually and perpetually happen all the time. But right now, everyone has to force these companies to respect you as a creator if you don't do it now, you're fucked. I promise you. So what do you, and, and, and again, that's what, that's that conversation goes to Twitch. I heard, I don't know if anyone saw this. I heard something about Twitch wanting to take, uh, what they say? Twitch wanted to take 50% of sponsorships or something like that. I saw something like that on Twitter. I don't know how real that is. Um, I really that, don't. Oh, that was to do with, they were saying that um, they were trying to set up de deals where sponsors could pay for subs. And the assumption was that it would all go through the standard subscription system on Twitch. So creators would only get 50% of the sponsorship money or something like that. I don't know, man. <laughs> the thing is, Twitch have historically been very good at monetizing stuff, but they've just kind of fallen off. And um, like a hype train is so old now. I think people are kind of a bit bored of the hype train stuff. They need something, something fresh. I'd love a sub from a sponsorship. Easy for me as a chatter. Yeah, I think there probably is a benefit somewhere in there for chatters, sure. You'd have to weigh it up and figure it out. Also, there's a Yeah, but that but the point is, is also that could be a sponsorship that Twitch brings you. So it could be that that's an opportunity that you would never have had anyway. So although it seems shitty that they're taking such a big cut and you can even argue it's too much if that's the case, it's still money that you wouldn't have had in the first place. There's 100% favoritism on uh, on Twitch too, I want to say. Um, Hassan showed a video of a guy dying, like actual dying, and, and XQC made a great point, a valid point. XQC said, if I showed that same video, I think I would have gotten banned or at least a warning or something. Hassan made, made my clean, I got warned or whatever, but you know, that's that's something I do want to add in there. So <laughs> Twitch does have its favorites. Bro, I got banned for 30 days at first for, for showing somebody who died. He, didn't, he wasn't dying. He was just dead. And, Wait, um, really? 
Yeah, and then That's they, how you they, for real? Yes. So they reduced it. That's how you know, chat. They reduced it, and and I'm like, all right, I guess. But again, you know, one thing I think Twitch is learning, and I'm not here to be anti Twitch or anti any platform. I I think what Twitch is lacking is what Rumble is good at, and I think Kick is good at. Like I see train wrecks. I see I see Eddie like literally trying to respond to people. I see someone was like. Hey, what about the viewerships? And I see him trying to respond to people. I love that about Eddie. That's what I, that's one thing I will say. And and again, I I, uh, I met Chris. I fuck with Chris, by the way. I just want to put that out there. Good guy, too. Seems like a good guy. Um, as of a conversation we've had. But look, Eddie is on Twitter. And these guys are all on Twitter. They're Who's really Eddie? trying to look at problems. Eddie is, is uh, one of the owners of uh, of Kick. Um, anyways, he's on this shit. And he's he's scrolling. And he's on Twitter. And he's just trying to... No, I'm not. You can't. You won't be hearing me breathing. Chris from Mr. Beast, I don't know. Uh, find out and, 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 you know, diagnose problems and really figure out what people are saying. And <laughs> he's recognizing the problems. It's in beta, bro. Like, for example, no. I'm get, I get, I got follow about it fucking a uh, week ago. My viewers will go from 90 to 70. Like, they fluctuate. <laughs> fucking, he is aware of the yeah, problems. Yeah, those views so are kind of crazy on, on your stream. Exactly. Yo, exactly. Yo, yo. So, oh. same thing, yo. You know, before before we got to you, let, let, let me just finish this real quick. But the thing is about Eddie is and, and, and Kick, they're taking accountability. They're saying we're looking into this. We're we're constantly trying to fix this shit. We're coming up with updates regularly. They got a mobile app out so quick, bro. I don't think people really understand how fast that was to get that mobile app out. Like they have a really a fucking great team working on everything. They have a great amount of people who are constantly listening to feedback and and, and you know criticism and all these things. And can Nick really stream on? Can Nick stream on Kick? Can who? Can Nick? I don't know. If he violates the US, he might get banned. Do you, hey, is he, I, that's what I want to ask Train. I, I want to ask Train if Nick. Oh yeah, yeah. What's the deal with that? Wasn't there some sort of thing where there was like potentially a deal or something? Was it Rumble or Kick? Um, anyone talking about source code it's public look it up kick kick has its own source code I'm just i'm just saying anyone anyone saying that they copied twitch you can google it's it's public information isn't it yeah, say, yeah and by the way it's you know it, it, in terms of being very reactive to the creator man like right before we went to the U train said no to nick oh did he oh did nick try and get on and train said no UFC event, me, Gideon, you know, Chris from Rumble, we, we went to we went to a restaurant and like we're sitting there. And I I've had honey, lemon, ginger. I need antibiotics. I need antibiotics. Yes, welcome to the YouTube stream. Okay, how's it going? Uh, this is it's gone on too long. It's it's like a chest infection or something. So I'm gonna call my doctor first thing tomorrow. And I'm watching Gideon like literally criticize the criticized rumble saying i need this i need this i need this and chris listen I all of it i need all these things to make me successful it's great and you know what he did okay cool we're gonna get we're gonna get this done we're gonna get this done we're gonna get this done i'm yeah. working on this again because a lot of times you know um you know streaming is such a privilege it feels like snobby streamers when you ask or you're trying to get support but in reality no, not you're Maybe the better. worst if you're if you're bringing if you're bringing the content that they're running ads off, they should talk to you. That's the only. Pro yeah, neither one of them care about Kick or Rumble. They care about the bag they get from them. Aiden got a bag from Kick. AK got a bag from Rumble. That's it. Yes, that is true. They're just protecting their platform, which is fine. Like it's such a stupid. Uh, these arguments are so stupid. It's like, who cares? Like. <laughs> It's about the benefits you get as a content creator, how much split you get, you know, audience potential, et cetera, et cetera. That's what matters in all of this. Anyway, we're back Problem on set. The Twitch. They feel zero responsibility to actually just talk to the creators who make the money. So I don't know, man, but. Um, no, nah, I was just answering some of my chat. Yeah. So look, I, I, uh, I do, I do, I do. Lo I love that, that. It's it's great that you know these platforms are opening up because I'm gonna be honest. 
Twitch is only listening to Pokemon and Hassan, if I'm being honest, bro, and that's bad. Am I wrong, Chad? They're only listening to Pokemon and Hassan, those types of streamers in that category. Is that true? Hell, bro. Pokemon said the king gambling queen of gambling. Twitch. Pokemon said gambling got to get banned and got banned the next day. What if, I forgot what Hassan did. Just they say things and they, and they act on it quick as fuck. But when specific streamers doing, you know, things for the platform as well, like XQC is a big, a big shark for Twitch. You know, I think they, they should listen to XQC uh, on certain things, you know? And again, like he's right about that point he made. He said, if Hassan, he said Hassan shows someone dying, he didn't get banned. He said XQC said, if I did that, I would have got banned. And I believe that. I got banned for a fucking month for showing someone dying. Hassan didn't even get banned. Or, or, I don't know if he got a warning, but he didn't get banned. Why did you get banned? We still don't know. On Twitch? Yeah, because honestly, oh. I felt that put you in an interesting position Oh, because so 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 I'm gonna I, I'm not really it, you know it's it's constant it's 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 I'm allowed to speak on why I got banned I am but I'm not gonna talk too much on it because it's in it's in my lawyer's hands now because I'll what? tell you what because I got indefinitely suspended for an unmoderated chat when every streamer has a chat on their screen and and they they everyone there's no way someone can fully moderate their chat every streamer has a chat on their top right of their screen. And, 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 it, you know, yeah, that's why I got banned. No way. Stop. Well, 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 that was just an excuse. See, like, when they, when they don't like your political agenda, Twitch will just find a reason to ban you for absolutely nothing. It happened to me, too. They just didn't like the fact that Aiden was associating himself with Tate, and so they found a reason to delete him. No. Tell you why he got banned. He got banned because they, they saw their biggest streamer go live and say, go to another website, which is a competitor. That's why they wanted to ban you if they if they gave you mm. any other bullshit. What I will say is this though too, can I just say one thing? And, and all you guys saying facts are true, cool. Think about it like this. If I was another streamer, just let's just say I'm fucking um let's just say I'm fucking uh Hassan. I don't want to use Hassan and shit. Let me just say I'm another Twitch streamer. If I'm another Twitch streamer and my chat is being unmoderated, in the bottom left I have my chat right now. Okay, if my chat is being unmoderated, if I'm a regular Twitch streamer, okay, do you think if, if someone is typing in slurs or, or or Nazi symbols, for example, okay, do you think that I would be indefinitely, do you think that, that a regular streamer would be indefinitely suspended? No, absolutely not. It, 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 it's very clear that Twitch has a, a specific political agenda the same way that they're not. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. As much as I thought I could understand Twitch, re Twitch's reasoning based on the rules. It's honestly wild that Aiden caught an indefinite suspension for that. I mean, you know, he has got a bit of a checkered history. That's the only thing. <laughs> Although I don't know what all these bands are for. So, you know. Covering Rumble for signing you and signing Jadeon because they want to go box Rumble in because it's an actually free speech website. They want to box it in as conservative right wing because Trump's on here and Tate's on here. There, there's a very clear political agenda with all these sites. The reason they don't see Kick as a problem is because Kick doesn't really have a political agenda. Kick is, is is a gambling platform and doesn't really have an essence okay, of and it. And again, and again, I know under I understand why you keep saying gambling platform. It is funded by stake. I get that. I completely do. Public information, but you're going to see. A completely different separation within this year. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised who's signing, Nico. Like a lot of a lot of people are signing to this platform that aren't going to be that are not going to be gambling. Per I'm sure. I'm sure they're signing, but we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm just saying we'll, we'll see how long it lasts. And, 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 and I'm, I'm comparing you. I'm. I mean, I'm I mean, but you're. But but Nico, it seems like you're hating. It's like I'm anger. not hating. I'm, 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 it's not anger. You're trying to be factual. I get it. I understand logical. Rumble's been a thing for two years. This shit's been a few months. I'm comparing months. your. I'm comparing what you're saying about the left of streamers and how they Pokemon and them get favorited on Twitch for the same reason all, that they're boxing well, out well, Rumble. Means, but these people are all for saying what you want to say, but they don't like. Hate. I love the. I love watching these streams because the charts are so funny. Hitler would fix the West a hundred percent. Duco add Hitler Nick or you are gassed Zionist. <laughs> Right, it's a bit much, isn't it? Bring Hitler back to Germany. Hate speech, and I and I honestly, bro, that's why I'm, uh, I want to start fueling hate with love. You know what I'm saying? And that's why everyone should be doing it. Okay, so we're all we're on the same page there. 
then you know we are my point was that there's a specific political agenda that twitch wants twitch wants you to be watching hot tub streamers twitch wants you to not do push-ups they don't want any self-improvement as soon as you started doing push-ups as soon as you started motivating your audience that's when they and, they, and, 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 and remember remember when i said guys stop watching porn and then hassan called me a full right remember he called me remember he, he said you said, said you're going all right for, right for doing push-ups it, it's not about the moderated chat they didn't like your political ideology it doesn't I fit agree with you that, there's I a reason why the word simp is banned on twitch mm. Yeah, that is crazy. Simp is banned off Twitch and sit. And you know what's crazy? Um, Twitch still has gambling on their platform, by the way. I don't know. If I Listen, I'm all up for shitting on Twitch, but like Simp isn't banned on Twitch. That's not true. I think that if it's used in a particular way, maybe you might get banned if you're like, if someone's donating and you just endlessly call them a simp. But just calling someone a simp off the, offhand like that or one, one, you know, it's fine. You're not going to get banned for that anyone ever talks about it they have um amazon and uh, twitch they have a multi-billion dollar deal academics with the nfl i don't know if you knew this about uh sports betting and uh the reason why gambling got banned in the first place from twitch was because of also also i don't think that the simp thing is even about them i mean yes they're sgw whatever right i think it's more so about the fact that they don't want people to feel shamed for, for subbing to someone <laughs> because obviously if someone feels shame they don't sub that's money out of twitch's pocket so they probably don't want people to feel ashamed of like simping i guess hey maybe thank you for the 20 bucks appreciate it keep it coming guys i'm not shilling much today because uh i'm saving my voice i don't know if i'm going to stream tomorrow I don't know, man. I need to find the doctor and find out what's what. Get some fucking meds. Get some meds up in this bitch. Who lost his money? Who had nothing to do with stake. Also, I'm pretty sure you could still do FanDuel and DraftKings on Twitch, and they have the same slots, such as Sweet Bonanza and shit. Um, I'm just just clarifying that for everyone. So it's the same fucking pragmatic Dude, play. This, they definitely said that if you're uh doing fantasy picks, like for example, like. Price picks is completely legal. Hey, hey what, yo, yo, I always wanted to ask you this, Aiden. Because again, I've always said, you know, bro, you're a huge creator. Like, you're bigger than me. You're bigger than Sneeko. Are you glazing, man? Did, no, 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 that's the truth. Did you not have these conversations? Because I talk to people at Twitch. And they've talked to me at times and been like, hey, listen, how about you change this up? Because, you know, you're kind of going against the TOS. We're, we're, we're going to give you a warning, but just change it up a little bit. And it's never about my pain. They'll be like, hey, you know, your sub goal is not whatever, whatever. It, it just seems like there's no way you should be this disconnected with the, the people who you're probably making millions of dollars for or you were. I, I don't get that. I never got on Twitch's front page. They never followed me on social media. They never reached out to me. Um, they offered me, it's crazy. This is one thing that I have, a, I have a really successful manager, I have a really great manager who got me this deal, but I did have a, a, some type of- Yes, I, on Twitter, I called Thomas Sim and Twitch banned me. Red pillars, shower me with money. Is that how it works? Come on, let's go. Crazy ad deal with Twitch that I'm gonna, I'm gonna say out loud, I don't care. Um, I had, a, I had a crazy ad deal with Twitch. It was a non-exclusive ad deal, and I would pump ads and make more, honestly, more money than I should be, I've been making. What's the number, though? You just hinted that you're going to say the number. I mean, I'm not going to get into specifics, but I'm no, telling no, you, no. like, I had a crazy fucking ad deal like they gave me. It was more than, it was more than fucking, I think only, like, another one, one or two other creators had it, literally. Like, I know for a fact it's fucked up. Kai doesn't even have it. He deserves it. Like, I know for a fact Kai does not have it, and he 100% deserves that deal. So um, now, yes. And now that you're not on Twitch, why are you shifting away from political streams? Why do you want to go back to like similar stuff that you're doing on? Like, why do you not want to talk about politics anymore? Because I think this world needs love, bro. And I honestly, like, I was going through. I know, I knew, I knew you cracked the joke, bro. But lean is fucking addicting. I, I was downplaying it. I was actually addicted to that shit for longer than five fucking days, chat, and everyone. Um, and honestly, bro, like, I was just in a super toxic mindset. And speaking of addicts. I looked at something funny on Twitter earlier. Remember that weird Keffels mod? That like insane Keffels mod that was like putting that picture of my face about before I showed my face on stream. Remember that? Well, there's a whole discourse at the moment on Twitter 
about on the left about whether or not you should take hard drugs. And all the Marxist Leninists are like, oh no, taking drugs is bad, we'd be against it. And someone said about shooting people that take drugs. And that person quote tweeted quote tweeted that with a video of them sorting a line of fentanyl. Is this it? Look at this. Actually, I don't know if I can show that on YouTube. Can you show hard drugs on YouTube or not? A very normal individual there. A very normal person. A very normal person. I think they're a trans, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, just kind of funny to see that freak getting shit on for like taking fentanyl on Twitter. Anyway, yeah, open crime isn't there the first time. I think they're like a, 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 a fucking, what is it? Arsonist or something, aren't they? I was getting pissed off easily and the demons were getting brought out of me, bro. We got to look like this, bro. You talk about it yourself. You said a lot of, you, you talk about it with Chris. You said, Chris, a lot of kids look up to you. A lot of, you have a lot of influence on the internet. So do you, Sneeko. Kids look up to, kids look up to you, right? And people look up to you. Not even just kids. People in general look up to you. They're like, oh my God, Sneeko's saying some real shit. I saw at UFC, Sneeko, some, some, uh, like some UFC security guard walked up to you. He was like, Sneeko, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I look up to you. Like, you know, I remember that guy. And I just think adding in love and, and instead of hate, bro. And, and again, I, 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 the past month, bro, I feel like that just, wasn't me like it's just like I, I i have i have my beliefs on things bro but it's you like you can get political point? without yelling at fat women and calling them whales that, that you can still be political and promote but, but, love but, but speech again, that's, that's that's that that was out of context and you know it was you know that was out of context that girl was under a lot of my tweets 10 of my tweets at least attack my, my community my point is that they don't have to be mutually exclusive just, you can you can still talk about that stuff and, and not have I'm to saying, be i'm saying in general if that person commented on my tweet and i saw that i would just scroll through it right now because i'm in a yeah, better headset than i was yeah, I'm, yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna be honest like separate and aside from everything what was nico saying i think there's some older trans women i've got to be careful here because people are getting fucking clapped left right and center youtube must have updated some policy and it's just fucking people over but there are some trans women, I use the term loosely, that um, I think they try and transition later on in life and they just realize it's fucking hopeless, you know? Like testosterone has absolutely, you know, ravaged their body to the point of no return. So they still try and transition a little bit, but they just pretend they're a gender goblin as like a massive cope. Is that transphobic to say? Is that transphobic to say? Is that bad? Am I? Is that something I can get in trouble for? I don't know. It just feels like a kind of an obvious thing. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, there's a cope. It's like, oh yeah, no, guys, I'm actually just a weird gender goblin type of person now. And it's like, I mean, let's be real. It probably is pretty devastating for you that your transition has been so terribly unsuccessful and this is a cope. But if you're a nice person, I'll play along, obviously. But I think this person isn't a very nice person, so it's funny. Anyway, any questions about my take? I don't know if that's is that is that bad. Like even when I watched that 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 guy name was a Patrick CC video, bro. There was like an overtone of them kind of almost saying like you you've just gotten so successful. As that blood person we were just looking at that was doing fentanyl. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, doing fentanyl on Twitter to get some sort of dunking is not the sign of a well-adjusted person, is it? It's a sign of a person whose transition has been such an abject failure that they have to find some way to cope with the absolutely bitter, you know, brutality of their own life. It's so rich that... That, that you just feel like you're a like, everything and you're right. just snobby now. DK, like, link the tweet and people can when look. When I talk anyway. to you personally, I don't feel that. I don't think so but either. But say that, right? Like, I'm not. But, but listen, the internet... Anyway, the internet. you show, saw them earlier. They went like, when they did the fentanyl. The internet. When it comes to you on a personal level with someone you care for, but that's been the overtone. And I don't know if Sneeko was getting to it. I feel like people have been saying, yo, you got the bag, 
right? You're at you're at um kick now, and now you could you're you're just acting out because you know there's really no there's really no one telling you you can't do something. Nah, and, and again, and again, and, and again, bro. I think going, you guys are gonna see a lot of change from me. Everyone is, bro. I'm, 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 I'm really on this new path right now. I'm telling you, I'm back on my journey. I'm getting back to the shit, and I'm touched with reality again. My bad, I just saw. It. Is that your girl? Yeah, yeah. Why you, don't me watch, man. Um, chill, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Sneeko, you're you're still watching. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Listen. Bro, I don't love speech except when it comes to sneak. I don't love speech, right? Oh. I'm all about love, bro. Let me go punch dildos and shit. Okay, yeah. Love is punching dildos and acting retarded. And sucking lean. Just listen. Yo, act, act. You, th you think Aiden was actually addicted to lean? Yeah, bro. I was going through a pint day with my boys, literally. A pint and day still with streaming? Yes, I was sipping on stream. Yes. You were sipping on stream? Yes. No, no. I believe him. But that's what that's why I want to have this conversation with him about gluttony. Where, but let me go back to what you were saying, bro. Let me prove to people. Actually, speak louder than words. We all can agree on that. Let me prove to people that I'm about to be on this new path, this new journey, picking up where I left up on, and spreading love and not hate. And because I'm gonna tell you right now, that's what Kick needs right now. They they need they they need one of their faces for Kick to lead by example and do great and big things and bless people and fucking spread love. Because bro, I'm telling you, that's what it's all about in this world, bro. The energy you give out is what you receive. I was giving out negative energy this past month. I'm sick of this shit. I don't want that shit. It was creeping up on me. There'd be days where I didn't want to get out of the fucking bed. I'd be fucking depressed as fuck, feel low as fuck, and I would just sip a cup all day and, and feel the fucking, hey, hold, on, hold, hold on, bro. So I understand, I understand my persona on the internet right now is snobby. I get it, I'm snobby. Oh, I thought it was like some alcoholic drink. No, it's some fucked up shit. Purple drank. Is this some black people shit? Syrup, purple jelly, dirty Sprite, or Texas tea is a mixture of cough syrup which includes the two drugs codeine and promethazine, a soft drink usually Sprite or Mountain Dew, and occasionally a candy such as Jolly Ranchers for added sweetness. Its use originated right. in Houston, Texas and soon became popular. by the hip-hop culture during the 1990s. Cough syrup is a prescription drug used to alleviate the symptoms of coughs and is relatively safe in the prescribed amounts. However, by taking 20 to 25 times the recommended dose, users of lean achieve a state of euphoria, which is a period of intense excitement and happiness, followed by drowsiness, a lack of energy, I need the lean! Give me the lean! Give me the lean! and a disconnected <clears throat> feeling from the rest of the body. So it is the two drugs inside the cough syrup, known as codeine and promethazine, which elicit the desired effects of lean. So to understand the health effects of the drink, let's have a breakdown of each drug. Firstly, there is codeine. Codeine is an opioid like morphine, but with slightly less pain relief effects. But like morphine, it is highly addictive. When codeine is ingested, it is converted to morphine in the body, where it activates specific switches, known as mu receptors on the brain and spinal cord, which make up our central nervous system. By turning on these switches, codeine reduces pain signals to the brain, leading to pain relief and also causes the release of a chemical called dopamine, which results in the euphoric effects of lean. Continuous usage of the drug leads to tolerance and addiction, meaning that even higher dosages are required to have the same euphoric effects with subsequent usage. Codeine overdose can lead to respiratory depression, where breathing becomes suppressed, sedation, nausea, vomiting, decreased heartbeats and decreased blood pressure, apnea, and in severe cases, death. 
The second drug used in lean is promethazine. The drug blocks the action of a different group of switches in the body known as histamine receptors. This allows promethazine to have sedative and anti-allergy effects as well as being used to prevent motion sickness. Promethazine is responsible for the drowsy and relaxed feeling experienced when drinking lean. Overdose of this drug can lead to the depression of the central nervous system, low blood pressure, respiratory depression, unconsciousness, and sudden death. Other effects of the drink include brain damage, deafness, constipation, and painness. Users also tend to mix lean with alcohol. Even when taking cough syrup in the prescribed amount, it is a... Honestly, over here, cough syrup is just over-the-counter medication. And uh, it's not very effective normally. It's kind of a bit of a uh, snake oil type situation. But this seems like real shit. Advised to avoid alcohol. And by mixing it with lean, the drink becomes even more dangerous. If you have found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Well, guys, you know what they say. You learn something new every day. Every fucking kid who's successful and rich and doesn't give a fuck about anyone else. I get it. I get it. But that's not who I am personally. And if you know me on a personal level, you know that's not who I am. I love everyone. I care about everyone around me. And I care about people who fuck with me. And I really do. Now, it all started with insecurity and ego why I even started on this path. And it's stupid as fuck that I had a void in my heart and I filled that shit with a cup. And that's why I'm letting everyone know it's, 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 it's deeper than it sounds, bro. It is. This shit is no fucking joke. It really makes you a different person. And it puts you at a really low level. And people could tell that wasn't me. I had DJ Scheme, a close friend, uh, you know, to me, literally told me, he's like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, this is not you, bro. Whatever happened to fucking working on yourself. Bro, Snickle, I get it, bro. I get where you're coming from with, 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 with shit you say. Act you too, I get it, I get it. But all I'm saying is let Act speak out of the words. Watch what I'm about to do this month, and, and that's all I gotta say. I don't wanna speak much more on it. I don't. I do wanna ask you this question, right? Ooh. And I, I might be off base, but I wanna ask you this question because I do think a lot of people are probably thinking about this. Again, you are the most successful streamer ever okay that's just the fact of the matter he's glazing do you he's think glazing. there's a side effect of having more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime and maybe the side effects to possibly not having any restrictions that may lead you to do things say things or anything else that might not be... I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to butt in real quick. The most successful streamer of all time, in my, in my opinion. How are you saying that? Off, off of money? How are you saying that? I'm talking about monetarily. You said well, you signed the biggest... That's train. Well, yes, train, train racks has more money than me, but yes. Okay, but to be, I get what you're saying, though. Back, of course, bro, when I was fucking 19, I made my first million dollars. I don't know what the fuck I was doing with my money. I bought a fucking Lambo. I bought dumb shit. You know, and I was just being stupid as fuck. And I'm just, a, I was, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying, bro? People, people think I come from money and shit, bro. Listen, bro, I do, I don't come from fucking money, bro. There was a point in my life where my family went broke. People don't understand that. People are like, oh no, bro, you were bringing some money. Like I was middle class and then I became poor. And you know, and I, and I had to, and I had to put you aside. I tell a story. My dad lost his job and he had a three credit cards and he had to get my, my upgrade, my internet speed. And I worked to get my first streaming PC and equipment. And I did. You know, and, and, and what I'm trying to say is I came I, I came from that, I got my M and my first M I blew it on a fucking Lamborghini and then I bought on dumb shit and, and, and I spent it, I gambled it and all these things. And then after that, that I was like, all right, I gotta humble the fuck out a little bit. And then I and then I bought my parents their first crib, you know what I mean? And then I and then and then and then I progressively got richer, more successful, took care of this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, that person. Because at the end of the day, bro. It's all about becoming a better person and realizing fuck ups. For example, I will never, ever, 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 ever buy my friends jewelry ever again. Iced out shit. It's stupid. I'll buy them. Does he approve the claims from Aiden? Um, I mean, yeah, it could be. Maybe he's like not from Aiden. I guess it says in his YouTube. It'd be nice to see it, I guess. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Claim. I'm playing shit. I'll, 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 yes, I'll give him cash. I'll buy him cars. I'll buy him things that retain value and, 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 get, and get them somewhere. If I buy my friend an iced out fucking watch, if I buy my friend an iced out fucking watch, it's, I'm, a, I'm a moron. I'm a schmuck because it's a bad mindset. These rappers, I get it, bro. They want to be with, with the diamonds and shit. I get it. Cool. It looks, it looks great. It looks pleasing in the eye. But a plain fucking watch, app, even you know that, Stiglo, you know that, is more valuable than a fucking iced out fucking roll in, in an AP. It is. It is, and they go up in value, and, and you know, I want to start doing things like that and setting and setting setting shit like that 
that's cool. Buying a plain Jane fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You get what I'm saying? And, and I'm learning, bro. And, I, and, I, and I'm learning and I really am trying to stay on this path that I'm currently on right now. My mindset is clear as hell. And I'm more motivated than I've ever been because I'm getting rid of that, that lean shit and, I, and I'm really just trying to be the best version of myself, bro. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm gonna go back to that journey. And again, to answer your question, getting millions and millions and millions of dollars, it's overwhelming, it is, bro. People don't understand, like, especially when you don't know how to fucking manage your money and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it is at first, it is. Actually, that reminds me after this, I've got a great video that shows this perfectly. Basically, some chav, which is a UK term for a poor person, won um, the lottery and they like wasted it all. And it creates more problems. Act, you know that. You even said that to me. More money, more problems. You said that to me, bro. You did. And people look up to you. They look at you as a fucking ATM. The world, the world becomes the world. The world becomes a little more sour. All right. That's why a lot of old rich motherfuckers are all fucking miserable because they 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 look they perceive the world as sour. Okay. And and again, bro, money to make you happy, but, but to an extent, to an extent. But I think money, 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 money develops freedom, and it, and it you know it helps. It helps create opportunity, and it, it could definitely save lives and, and all these things. But it can't buy. It can't literally buy fucking happiness, like to an extent. And what I meant by that is like I can't go buy a Lamborghini. I'm gonna be happy in it. Like you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't. You know? The way I see I, it, like I, it, 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 when it comes to the self. I got one more question, and I know Stingo got a whole bunch for you, Aiden. And you, you, you know I love you. Like, you know, we, we talk so much. We, we've been in so many private situations. Obviously, we're, we're talking publicly here. But I do want to ask you. Um, I was just looking at which one to watch. Yeah, maybe I'll watch the Count Dankula one. I need something lengthy to get into. Who could check you? Who could check you in a sense of saying, you're fucking up, you're going wrong, you're going down the wrong path. Yo, how you handle last situation is fucked up. Who's that person? You tell me. I got, I got one person in my life right now that will call me on my bullshit no matter what. And that's my, my security guard aunt, who's not in my security anymore, aunt. Let's be honest. Ooh. That's one person who literally called me on my bullshit, bro. Literally. Um, I got, I have, I have a manager now who I'm very close with. His name is David, a very, he calls me on my bullshit. Um, I have two close friends to me uh, that are my high school boys. Um, the Tates, honestly, bro, the Tates. They're there for me. I texted them about my lean addiction. They fucking instantly, instantly hit my phone. Instantly talking about it. Explaining wow. that, you know, about life and help me feel better. You know, there's people around me, bro. There's good people. There's genuine people who genuinely care and love me. I know there is. And I can tell between the fake and, 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 and not fake love. But at the end of the day, bro, it's it's um, it's all love, man. Every every Everything is all love. Okay. That kind of sounded like therapy-ish. And so I'm wondering, like, how much does no, no, that was no, this, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but genuine question. I, I, and Aiden's like uh, thinks that I'm I'm arguing. I'm not. How much does do you actually need to invest into talking about self improvement? Every single and one of us have all better and the gym and stuff like that. Like that stuff that that's that should be routine at this point when it comes to to being a man. That stuff that's like that should just be routine. The way I see it, I, I want to know what you guys think. When it comes to like having an influence and having an audience, we, we're we kind of seeing Western civilization collapse in real time. We're seeing people completely confused. The culture war is getting worse than it's ever become. Like the, the amount of infighting the, where kids are extremely confused, the gender stuff that's going on. I see it as Western civilization collapsing in real time. I think the, the most valuable thing that you could do with an influence and a voice is to, is to call out the clear problem that we all see when it comes to wokeism. I know ACT doesn't completely invest into that because you don't like to go all the way go into the manosphere. Uh, Aiden, you went in and now you're, you're trying to go out. But wokeism is destroying the West from the real time. I'm not trying to go out, by the way, uh, Sneeko. I think honestly, bro, what you're doing in your in your in your own way, I, you know, I you know, we've had talks. I agree with a lot of what you say. I do. You know, I, I really do. We have the same beliefs on a lot of stuff. There's some stuff we disagree on. You know, I don't I don't 100% agree with all the things you do. I don't 100% agree with all the things I do. But that's just coming together and perspectives and 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 really coming together and and really understanding. But look, to answer your question, yeah, man, I think the world got so political. And at first, you know what's funny? I remember teachers couldn't even talk about who they voted for. But I'll tell you where it got so political. Schools, social media such as Twitter, and, and Twitch even, 
They're the ones that like were preaching, don't bring about politics. But these are the motherfuckers telling you not to vote for Trump. And it's just funny to me that, you know, that side of the full far left, you know, they're the ones that are kind of like hypocritical. I mean, everyone is hypocritical, but you get what I'm trying to say. It just didn't really make sense that you weren't allowed to talk about politics and shit. You just never were. But then it took, you know, the far left is one who brought politics to school, brought politics to social media, all these things. They're, they're, they're forcing it upon schools right now that they remove the church. They, they moved the cross and they replaced it with the gay pride flag in the West. So I, can I just, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Um, I, listen, I don't know how you guys feel about trans. I respect and I love and I love everyone and I have no problem with trans people. But one thing I will say, you, you definitely fucked up. I, I seen a clip. I know you talked about where I said kill them, and again, that's taken out of context. The way I said it, it was severely fucked up, and I and I apologize. Take full accountability. That was stupid as fuck. Yeah, because because I did say that incorrectly. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Um, but what I will say is this, bro, uh, Sneeko, the youth. I feel like I feel like they feel like um, we people shouldn't be. If you're a kid, man, you know what I'm saying. You're a kid. Let the kid be a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let the kid be a kid, straight up, bro. Well, that's like, what, that's I, exactly I, I, what they're not doing. I, I didn't fuck with, uh, you know, I just didn't fuck with certain things, like how in elementary school, like certain kids are being taught certain things, and, and the teachers are teaching it. I, there's just certain stuff that I don't like, and I don't touch base on, you know, and, and I'm really trying to get away from this shit because it's just creating more hate and all these. Uh, but I, get, oh, wait, 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 I do gotta ask because because again, you know. And I feel like I'm regurgitating talking points. Somebody, you can definitely tell me I'm full of shit because you know, you know, I know your heart and I know your your persona, but also like because we're on here, like I'm, I'm just naturally in in the sense of giving pushback and shit. Um, the school is a battleground for the culture war. True, um, I think it's pretty much done. It, like, do you be, like? It, there was a point that you weren't talking about how many genders. Is that, that's more like Sneeko's alley type shit. You know what I mean? And, and these days, nah, like, I said that. I said that because from that point on is when I got into the zone where I was mad at people on Twitter for trying to cancel me. So I was trying to cancel cancel culture. That was my mm. perspective on that. And I don't know if that really makes sense, but yeah, that's where I was at with that.